So let's talk about getting new results with a fresh new start, leveraging social media. You know, social media is so interesting. It is one of those organisms that you truly have to find your own unique way. I know there are a lot of different strategies out there and success formulas uh, that are offered, but you really have to know social media for yourself and what's gonna be in most alignment. So one of the reasons why I want to focus on this particular topic, you know, is because social media, especially for business owners, tends to take up a lot of their time. And, and that's primarily because uh, the assigned wisdom, so to speak, of certain gurus you have encouraged people to stay on social media and stay consistent, be before their audience, you know, continuously. And what I know to be true is that that doesn't always um, serve at the highest level for entrepreneurs, especially um, those who are emerging and are, you know, also wanting to do something different with their brands and with their business. You kind of have to deviate from some of the uh, perspectives and structures out there that are given. I believe that individuals need to have their own unique template. When you have your own unique success formula, then you're, you're able to leverage social media in the best ways, the most aligned ways for you. And that's what you want to do to be as productive and be resourceful with your time. Time is currency. I, I say this so often. And when you look at certain activities that take up quite a bit of your time, I say that if you're going to use that time anyway, you need to leverage it in the best ways. And so you have to be really mindful about how you're showing up. So if you're not getting uh, the results that you really desire with social media, let's look at having just a, a blank slate, a fresh, clean start um, to this process. So what I want to introduce uh, during this time is actually a process that's called blank space, a blank slate. And it really is where you're going to just step outside of everything that you have known as it relates to social media, what social media is for, especially for you as an entrepreneur, and, and just be present in this neutral energy, like a blank canvas, and just see what comes up in terms of how you need to be leveraging social media during these times to get um, different results. And even for those of you who have been getting uh, results that you you know, that you've desired, you set your goals, let's look at also taking that to the next level. So what's the next level of that look like, uh, which might actually involve you doing something uh, different moving forward, because what has worked for you up into this point, uh, moving into another trajectory, a new trajectory of results may not be the same um, formula or process that you, that you use. So let's take a few moments and we're just going to be um, just quiet and present in the space. It doesn't take a long time. We just need to get you outside of everything you've known about social media, marketing on social media, business results as it relates to social media, everything you've known about how to leverage social media. We just want to take a little bit of time to step outside of that. So we're going to do that now. I invite you to take a deep breath, please. Okay, so let's be in the blank slate. Okay, so we just needed a few moments. It wasn't uh, time to really think and ponder about anything. It was just to be outside of that container and to now be able to just be, be present within some neutral energy or new energy. And now you can start to incorporate that back into just your normal everyday uh, life. And as you show up on social media, and I certainly would love to hear how just taking a few moments outside of the norm. Um, if you've experienced anything just from this little process here, or 
if you continue to do that, because you can take more time to just be present um, with being outside of everything that you've known and being intentional about receiving the insights for how you uh, need to move forward. So on the note of, of moving forward, let's, let's talk about that a little bit, because some of you during the time where there was the blank slate and that blank space, so to speak, that open canvas might have had something, you know, to come up. So we can kind of expand the awareness um, around that. And even if not, I just want to talk uh, a little bit briefly, you know, about that. So when we talk about doing things um, differently and, and showing up, it doesn't mean that how you're showing up now is the wrong way, so to speak, but sometimes it can be out of sequence or it can be that the way you're showing up is not in the most aligned ways. That can have everything to do with timing. Sometimes the timing that you're posting, what you're posting may not be the best time for a specific platform that you're posting on. So within this new start with social media, that's something to be very mindful around in terms of your timing. Is there a specific time that you need to post? Are you posting too much? Are you not posting enough? And let's say on a particular platform that has pages, let's say, for instance, Facebook or LinkedIn, other platforms that have not just your main profile timeline, but also, again, pages. So should you be leveraging your pages more than your timeline? Or should you be leveraging your timeline more than you are your pages? Or a combination, should you be sharing from your pages to your timelines? So you just want to be mindful. You want to think about these things, you know, and what is it that you need to be posting? One of the things that I encourage is combination posting is that you don't need to just be posting just the same thing over and over. Like if you're in business and you're posting on your traditional timeline, don't just post about business and offerings. Make sure that you have inspirational empowerment um, posts, you know, as well. And, uh, and at the same time, don't overkill it with kind of the the selling post and you know and everything marketing is is great but everything has to be balanced and it has to be in alignment and i do believe that there are times where you actually do need to overkill it in a way um but you you do well i shouldn't say overkill it but um the oversharing but not in a way that is um throwing people off but i do believe there are times you actually need to be more massive to create more momentum with with showing up a certain way so again there's a time and space for everything a time and place but you have to just know when so you know the most important thing alignment and timing are, are going to be huge you know for you in terms of making this shift into um, opening up a newer trajectory and having this new start with social media also i'm i strongly believe and i practice this about taking social media pauses taking social media hiatuses so you want to look at am i scheduling myself to do a hiatus or to give pause for a day or two. So you just really need to be present with what that is. Or do you need to take some time off from social media altogether and maybe syndicate your Facebook pages um, so that they can post, but you aren't having to be there so much to manage it. So just being able to think about different ways that you can start to show up on social media to get um, the most out of it to maximize um, and optimize the experience, especially, you know, being in business. So that's just something I wanted to bring forth today so that you can be thinking about this, this fresh new start with social media and how, what that looks like. And, and even be intentional about the audience or audiences of interest that you desire to reach. So take some time out, continue to practice the blank slate um, experience so you can have that blank space time again so open canvas and and just return to that as often as possible even if it's just for a few seconds or a few minutes that you are taking some time out just to be in that space so you can have that fresh start you know each time you come to social media or again when you're feel, feeling guided and then be able to incorporate that in what you're doing and, and also the next level of master planning. So those are just some things that I want you to think about as it relates to your social media agenda.